Today, I'm going to introduce you to an else steak. Have you ever had a hard time deciding what to have for dinner? A pizza, a burger, or a bowl of soup? Or maybe if you don't want any of those, just a bowl of salad? Similarly, while coding, you have a variety of languages to choose from, C++, Python, or Java. Or maybe if you don't want to use a language, you can draw a flowchart. These dilemmas can be represented using if-else statements. In if-else statements, the conditions are listed in an order in which they are checked. I will show you an example in Python. The program checks if conditions are met. If the first condition is met, the program will execute the code for action 1 and then move on with the rest of the code. If condition 1 is not met, program will check if condition 2 is met. If condition 2 is met, the program will execute the code for action 2 and then move on with the rest of the code. If condition 2 isn't met either, the program will check if condition 3 is met. If condition 3 is met, the program will execute the code for action 3 and then move on with the rest of the code. If even condition 3 is not met, the program will execute the code for the default action, which is the last else. The last else is not mandatory, but it does help if you want to execute code and when none of the above conditions are met. You may notice the word elif, which is short for else if and is used in Python for the same. I will not show you a sample of if else statements in action. This code is for a four function calculator. The if else statements are used to check which arithmetic operation needs to be carried out. The program will check whether the inputted operation is addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and print out the respective result. If the inputted operation is none of these, then using a default else, the program will let you know that you have chosen an invalid operation, so you can run the program again and choose a valid operation. This is how the code works. The first number is going to be 12. The operation will be division, and it's going to be divided by 2. And the result is 6, which is correct. Now to see an example for which it will print out the invalid operation, I'm going to put number 2 as a first number and a quotation mark as the inputted operation, and the number 3 as the second number. You see that the result is an invalid operation.